This is exciting because it contains two of my favorite ingredients. Okay, what's that? Pasta and peas. I love <laughs> fresh garden peas. You're a big fan. Well, Sarah yeah. Chastain from The Grape is here this morning. Thank okay. you so much for Thank being you here. For You've got a great dish for us. What, what, what do we have to do? So, uh, this is a ricotta cavatelli. Um, so far, I've sauteed some green garlic and onions. Green garlic is just a young garlic. Um, sauteed those down, added some chicken stock, and then uh, added my pasta that is already pre-blanched. You okay. can start with uh, fresh pasta or dried pasta. They sell cavatelli at Whole Foods or um, Jimmy's even. Okay. Um, then after I add my pasta, add a little chicken stock and uh, some fresh spring peas, some arugula. A lot of green going into yeah. this. This is going to be great. Nice and People, whenever they eat pasta, always think it's so unhealthy, but you can make it healthy. And you guys have a lot of great Parmesan. dishes at the grape. I know that uh, Brian Lusher owns it, and you you That's took right. over, right? Uh, I am his chef de cuisine, right. so you, you, he's you've the chef taken over the, the, the kitchen. The cooking side, side, yes. <laughs> yes. That's and, right. And do, you, and do you get to experiment with a lot of different things now? I do. Um, so we have a uh, two sides of the menu. We have a bistro favorite side right. that's our mainstays, like steak frites, a whole roasted chicken, and then on the other side is uh, our monthly changing menu. So uh -huh. every 30 days, the first Thursday of every month, we change the menu, oh, really? turn over about 12 items. So oh wow, it's okay. actually pretty fun. Um, definitely a learning experience. I've loved it so far. My Good. sous chef and I have a lot of fun. Now with you it. put some parmesan in there. You're just letting it kind of melt in and, and right. thicken things up. That's what you're Give really it a little richness yeah. and kind of bind it all together. And what was this? Nice. That's some lemon juice. Lemon um, juice I there. usually okay. add lemon juice to pretty much any fresh pasta dish, like vegetable centric. Really? It adds a little acidity okay. to the dish, a little contrast. So there's no flavor. meat going in this at all. You're looking for, well, well, you could. You could right. throw some chicken in there if some you want. Some ham to. would probably be really oh, nice. There you go. Um, oh, do you actually, do you have some ham over there? Actually, I'm going to garnish it with some crispy prosciutto oh, for great. some texture. Oh, okay. Good. So. Good. Okay, we can dish this up. That's right. You ready? Yeah. We're ready. That looks great. All right. Especially me. All right. So, the, the grape, morning. if you don't know, mm, by the way, is on uh, Lower, Lower Greenville. Greenville. Yes, ma'am. Make reservations. For sure. We have a uh, wine dinner coming up at the end of May, May okay. 26, featuring Italian wine. So, nice. I'd love for y'all to stop by and try it. And brunch is delicious, by the way. It is. <laughs> All right. We have this have recipe. Burger. And a link. Where else? Fox4news.com. We're going to be back with some music here on Good Day.